Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to talk about while loops. And uh, so let's go ahead and make a new file. And so I'm going to go ahead and go in my index.html and I'm going to switch the script that we load to while loops. And then I also need to create that script, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Right click my code projects, create a new file, and then I'm going to uh, call that file while loops. Dot js press enter so one thing that computers are really really good at doing is repeating tasks when humans repeat tasks what we do is we tend to make mistakes but computers are very very consistent and what's more when computers do things they usually do things very very fast compared to humans and so you get very consistent tasks very quickly with a computer one way to take advantage of this power is with a while loop. And so when you create a while loop in JavaScript, you use the while keyword. And so let's go ahead and set one up. And when you notice when I'm setting one up, you notice it looks a lot like an if statement, right? The only difference really is that there's this while keyword instead of an if keyword. It's, it's the same structure really you have a condition here that goes inside the parentheses and if that condition is met, this block of code in, in between these brackets executes. The only difference though, is that a while loop will keep executing this block of code while the condition is true. So when we make a condition, we need an exit strategy. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna declare a variable with our let keyword and I'm gonna call that variable counter and I'm gonna set that equal to zero. And I am going to say while counter is less than five, I am gonna execute some block of code and that block of code when I execute it, I'm just gonna go ahead and console log some stuff. So I'm gonna console log hello and then I'm gonna console My name is Brandon. And you you put your name right there instead of Brandon. Again, I need that exit strategy, right? So a while loop will continue to execute until this condition is false. So while this condition is true, we're gonna execute this while loop. So I need a way to eventually make this condition false. I need an exit strategy. So what I'm gonna do at the end here is I'm gonna say counter, I'm gonna change my variable, I'm gonna change the value of my variable and say that that's equal to whatever counter is plus one. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and run this. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go into my code projects folder. I'm gonna go into index.html, I'm gonna click. And I'm get, then I'm gonna right click to get to my console and I see, hello, my name is Brandon, and I see that five times, right? So I see it one, two, three, four, five times. So let's go ahead and see why. I'm starting at zero, right? And so when I start at zero, zero is less than five, so my while loop knows to execute, and so it'll execute this block of code. It goes down to this, it executes this, it outputs this, and then it goes to this counter is equal to counter plus one. So now counter is one. And then we go down and then counter is two. And then counter is three. And then counter is four. And then when counter is five, five is not less than five. So then our while loop knows to stop and then it will execute whatever's after the while loop. So let's go ahead and add something here. So console.log and then we could say something like done. And then I save that, I go up here, and you'll notice that done is at the end of whatever all this while loop output that was executed. So that's the basics of a while loop. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to do one more example of a while loop. Oh, actually, what I really wanna do is what if, I'll give you a what if scenario, what if, this counter 
iteration is not in the code. So what if I save this? So let's just take just a second to think about what I just did. Now the counter variable doesn't get changed at all. So when I execute this, the counter value of zero is always going to be less than five. So what's gonna happen is I'm getting zero less than five, zero less than five, zero less than five. And the code inside my block is not changing that result. It will always be true. And if it will always be true, it will always execute. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna click refresh. So I saved that code, I'm refreshing this. And now my counter is not being incremented. So let's see what happens when I press refresh. Okay, so I see that my code is executed a lot of times and I'm actually having a hard time scrolling this because my it looks like my browser is seizing up. And you'll also notice at the top left here, at the top left here, you'll see this, this little icon. Oh, and here it is. Brow web page is slowing your browser down. So what's happening is I'm executing this so many times that my machine's resources are actually being consumed to the point where I'm unable to use my browser interface because it's it's getting so locked up, it's getting so sluggish, it's it's becoming difficult to work with. Instead of stop it, so I have the option to stop, I'm gonna go ahead and click wait just to see how bad it gets. And so it's saying that my browser is not responsive. And uh, yeah, yeah, it basically I, I've consumed my system resources to the point where the interface is sluggish. Let me see if I can click X off here. I cannot. Let me see if I can click X off here. I cannot. So the browser is really having a, a hard time. So how about I just go ahead and close the window from the operating system? Okay, now I was able to get out of that. I highly, highly recommend that for science, you create what we just created, which is an infinite while loop, just to see what happens, just to experience for yourself what happens. But for now, to keep our code working, I'm gonna put back our exit strategy so that we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I'm gonna create one more example of a while loop and that is going to be, I'm going to use my let keyword and then I'm going to say a bomb and I'm going to go ahead and make a string, a string variable that replicates itself, I guess you can say a number of times. So let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to use the counter variable again, but notice I don't need the let keyword anymore because the counter variable is has already been declared at the top here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset that counter variable to zero. I'm gonna assign the value zero to the counter variable. And then I'm gonna go to my while loop. I'm gonna make another while loop with a while keyword. And then I am going to output. So I'm gonna say while counter, and then how many times do we wanna do this? While counter is less than 10, I guess. We'll say a bomb is equal to a bomb plus one, right? Well, I want to add a string. So actually what I want to do is I want to say plus a, and then I'm going to say counter is equal to counter plus one. All right, do I have everything I need? Oops, okay, I also have to console log something. Whoops, console. We gotta spell it right though. So I have to console log something and that's gonna be, uh, what are we gonna console? We're gonna console a bomb. Okay, so what does this do? Well, it adds a value, it adds a, it adds a string to another string. So the string starts at a, and then a plus a, and then it outputs whatever a plus a is. And then it'll go through the loop, and then it'll output whatever a plus a plus a is. So what does that look like? So 
have a guess in your head as to what that looks like. And then we're just going to go ahead and see. And I closed my browser, so I got to reopen that. Right click, console. Okay, so this is what happens. So I have A plus or A plus A, and then we go through our while loop, and then we add another A to A bomb, and then output that. Add another A to A bomb, and then output that. Add another A to A bomb, and then output that, and then so on and so forth. And we do that ten times, right? So that's exactly what we're doing here. And so that that's our that's our output for our while loop. So that's going to be it for this section. And practice is incoming. Just some practice problems for the while loop section. You have your choice of the first one and then we have a bonus. So for the first one, you can write a while loop that outputs I like dogs or your favorite animal four times. So we should have the tools to do that by now. Or you can write a while loop that executes 15 times and outputs a variable's value to be plus five each time. So for example, um, let's say you start with a variable value of one and then you add five to that and go up to six, output that, add five, go to 11, output that, add five, output that, go, go to 16. So you're, you're adding five each time your, your while loop executes and then you're doing that 15 times. So you get to pick what variable value you start with, but increment by five each time. And then finally, the bonus is write a while loop with an if statement inside of it. So you get to choose what you output, you get to choose what your how, how many times you're incrementing your while loop. Uh, you get to choose what your if conditional is, but restrict somehow some kind of if conditional to to output something within a while loop and that's sort of the bonus so again i highly recommend that you do this practice so that we can move forward